Welcome back everyone for today's Destiny 2 build session, where today's topic will be looking into creating a near unlimited grenade build that will not only allow users to throw grenades with a rapid cooldown rate, but also link into the new perk called Adrenaline Junkie for a fast to furious setup. The build in today's video is multi-customizable, which means the mods and weapons shown can be switched out for something better that suits your needs. This means if you're not a fan of elemental world mods but prefer charge with light, then the option is there. This goes the same for weaponry, however you must have at least one weapon that rolls with the new perk so you can see the new synergy between the two. It's always been possible to create rapid cooldown grenade builds from the get-go by simply using perks or mods that cater to these areas, but nothing to a degree like this to where you can throw one grenade and then get a full grenade back and repeat as many times as you like. On top of that, you will also be gaining weapon damage increasement to whatever weapon that has the perk Adrenaline Junkie on it, and as the new season weapons can all roll on it, you can in theory have it all active for all weapon slots on a constant basis. What makes this all round interesting is that this can be done with other class exotics as well, that can provide you with even more benefits to the user and so forth. It's a simple but very advantageous build that when combined with the right things can ample your damage by tenfold. If this sounds like something you enjoy, then stick on by and I'll show you how to achieve it. Before we head in, if you enjoyed the video, then do leave a like and a sub for more content like this in the near future. I would really appreciate it. The start of the subclass, we'll be using Way of the Current for a safe and effective playstyle for the build. Now, the subclass choices aren't as restricted compared to other builds done in the past, which means whatever subclass you pick will not take away the core aspect of what makes the build unique. As we plan to use our grenades a lot, attaching the Ashes to Ashes mod can allow us to speed up the cooldown rate of getting our super drastically, which we can then use the block ability to gain damage boost and then go to town from there. We also have the Ebb and Flow subtree perk that can grant us grenade, melee and dodge energy upon electrified enemies once we melee them. Our abilities will be fully covered by the stats and other mods attached to the gear but simply having this available can speed up the cooldown rate of abilities much faster for us. Useful in situations where you miss your grenades multiple times and need a jump start to get them actively working again. This is what I found to be the best subclass for me to personally roll with as the build doesn't need so much support to fix the grenades and base abilities recharge rate when I already have this area covered with my exotics and mod. Because of this, choosing whatever subclass you like is now an option you can pick up and define how you like. If you wish, you can use Way of the Wind for its balance of mobility for the user, but also providing you an option to stun enemies you get too close. Or perhaps melee is more of your option and Way of the Warrior sounds like something you can pair with the grenade build to have a two heavy hitting abilities at one. Whatever you choose, the build can accommodate as long as you have the right tools to back up said abilities. All of this is great as you're not locked into one place though, instead you're given the option to expand and express yourself in whatever way you see fit. For weaponry, I've chosen to use the loadout that will fit into the setup of activating the Adrenaline Junkie perk on and off, while also supporting the other key areas that can allow me to take on close to long range targets at will. This area can be customised to fit a fast paced approach, but it's wise to have weapons that can correspond with grenades as easy access. My primary in this case is the new Chroma Rush AR with dynamic sway reduction and Adrenaline Junkie as its main perks. This 720 AR is honestly the best feeling AR I've ever used in generally a while and can be used like a Persuader SMG with the Dynamic Sway Reduction perk active. With my exotic, Shinobi's Vow, and this use it or skip grenades combined with a weapon, it feels like a match made in heaven in terms of how well paired the two combos are in whatever content you have in mind. The stability of the weapon allows my shots to be more accurate over time, which allows easier precision shots and damage over the junkie's perks duration. I can keep firing and throw my grenade at will, and as long as I get a kill or damage with a grenade, my weapon will receive a buff and keep being able to be fired for continuous periods. It's like in a way having a build focused around the demolitions perk and be able to fire it non-stop while gaining said grenades back. There's a feedback loop you can use and abuse with the right setup, and although this build doesn't follow that same mantra as mentioned earlier, it does hold weight. In fact, it feels a lot more better than something like that as it's more fun and simple to activate. With the primary comes the secondary, and I'm using the plug on fusion with Killing Wind and Reservoir Burst as an anti-minor enemy counter. 
This may sound strange, but using a secondary without adrenaline junkie doesn't take too much away from the build as it's still helping support the build in tough and rapidly growing environments. A prime reason why I went with this roll instead of say a roll with the junkie perk instead is that I needed something with a lot of built up damage against groups of different tiered enemies in case I get overwhelmed, which you can see. The burst damage from Reservoir is useful for those instances as it can allow me to break up large groups and then pick off the rest with my grenades and go from there. Fusions are also great for their reserve ammo, range and hard hitting damage compared to shotguns which require a more upfront approach. This of course can be changed to a shotgun instead as the new Sojourner's Tail can also run with a junkie perk. And with the constant damage buff you'll get in VO grenades, the precision damage alone will be something worth investing in for a long, long time. And for heavy, I'm using the Royal Entry Rocket Launcher with Fill Prep and Clam Cartridge as a quick DPS dump against bosses alike. Nothing special is really needed for this slot as the majority of damage will be coming from your super and grenades alone, so you have free reign for picking and choosing whatever weapon fits best for the slots. For stats, our main focus is to invest into discipline so we keep the flow of grenades going back and forth. However, depending on what mods you have, this area may not need as much investment than you think. What I mean by this is that you have to think about how fast you want your grenades to passively recharge when not in action, as you're going to come across two issues when using your build, and that is throwing your grenades and missing a target, and then waiting for it to recharge again. Now to break down what I have done to counter this is that I have added in the impulse recycler, firepower and bomber mods to keep the build from running out in general. If I miss both of my grenades, I can go collect the orb of power to activate the firepower mod, which would then grant me a build grenade energy per orb kept. Now at 70 discipline, this would be more than enough to sustain the rest of the energy that firepower will be providing until you hit max again. After that, the rest of the mods can then come together and provide an infinite amount of energy as needed. It's important we stick to the main focus of the build as much as we can while ironing out some of the downsides to the build. With the above mods as described, they are more than enough to give you the required power you'll be after from start to finish. However, missing one or both grenades can prevent the build from being the best as you won't have certain weapon perks or subclass perks that will grant you instant ability energy when you need it most. Now as the build doesn't require much branching out, you now have the option to improve on the leftover stats such as strength or intellect. Intellect will be your best area to improve on as we have the Ashes to Ashes mod that will drastically improve the recharge rate of this area. At the same time, strength is also a great area to pick simply for the fact that all three subclasses can make use of this area to either stun or one-shot enemies. You won't be playing too much of a close range role but strength can be very handy against the major enemies who will swarm you if you're not on guard. This area is also the only area that doesn't have a mod dedicated to it compared to the rest, so take that as you will. Now with the main bases covered, let's take a look at the mods we're using and how they play within the build. For head we have intellect, ashes to ashes and firepower mod. Arm we have minor resilience, impulse recycler times 2 and charged up mod. In chest we have minor intellect, concussive damage times 2 and firepower mod. A leg we have discipline, Insulation, Fusion Rifle Scavenger, and Elemental Audits mod. Cloak we have Minor Resilience, Bomber, Surge Detonators, and Charge with Light mod. So with this build, you will have the power to create unlimited grenades back to back and also gain a weapon boost for your primary, secondary, or heavy if they have the perk Adrenaline Junkie available. Now this is something that can be broken down and implemented into other builds, other classes and other weapons plus gear as long as you have the exotic that will provide you with a constant flow of grenade energy and the energy accelerator mod from this season. When it comes down to the pros of the build, the main thing you could be fully aware of is the unlimited grenades at your disposal that will be useful in all content from regular to master level. Because of how simple the loadout is, I can use this in Nightfall to legendary lost sectors without needing to change up the main premise of the build thanks to the seasonal mods provided, for example, our AI can use the anti-barrier mods this season and our grenades can use the surge detonator mod to stun overloaded enemies. This one mod for the grenade allows me to run pretty much any content involving these type of champions and have a great time at dealing with them from the unlimited source of grenades available. Although I don't have anything for the unstoppable, that's not much of an issue. 
With this fact, this will leave our heavy and special slot wide open for user's choice without moving too far from the core of the build. Another pro of the build is the consistent damage boost you'll be getting as long as you hit or kill an enemy. Now, this can be looked into as not that special as perks such as Kill Clip or Rampage exist. However, Adrenaline Junkie is special because of its duration, which lasts for 10 seconds and can provide a 35% weapon buff at max of 3. With your grenades and Snowboost Val Zodic effect, you can easily max and retain this duration for a long time, which makes using certain weapons with the perk even more lethal. The Seasonal AR is great for its mag size and sheer damage over time, while the Seasonal Slug Shotgun can easily 1 to 2 tap a major or ultra enemy with ease. This one buff can make your weapon's TDK skyrocket and help take on whatever tough enemy you face, and will prove useful in the Master Nightfalls when you want to farm it quickly and efficiently. Now this all sounds great for what the build is offering, but there is a downside to this, and that is missing a grenade or getting your grenade stuck thanks to the Bungie's physics. Sometimes you may completely miss your grenade or your grenade may get stuck in a built debris because of physics, and this can mess up the whole the build you play too aggressive and don't quickly recover. Now, as mentioned earlier, with Shinobu's Valor Perk trait, Firepower and Energy External mod, we can recover from this area by focusing efforts into the Firepower mod to gain grenade energy back by becoming charged with light which will drastically boost ability energy. Now, there's not that much you can do with the physics side of things as it will happen nonetheless, but luckily we have two spare grenades to make use of the skip grenades, so you should be fine with recovering from there with just the one grenade available. The success of the build relies on making sure that you, as Shax would say, throw enough grenades to easily sustain the setup. As this build isn't Grandmaster worthy, you can use it in content like strikes, nightfalls or whatever seasonal activity with ease. For a seasonal build, it holds a lot of weight for how easy it is, and generally anyone can put it together and have a ton of fun with it, either with this hunter subclass, or you can go ahead and use your warlock, or you can go ahead and use your titan, the options are unlimited in terms of what you can do. All you gotta do is just follow the setup as shown. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and the sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Titanfall lore content if you did that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you all in the next one.